Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to the success. In today's video, we're going to be going through nine things poor people waste money on. Now, without any further ado, let's get straight into this video. Number one, health. Here's the deal with health. It's an ever increasing dragon that you have living with you. The more you ignore it, the bigger it gets and the more damage it will do to your life. You don't want to go to the dentist to fix that cavity. You'll have to pay for an implant in two years. You don't want to pay for a checkup. You'll have to be hospitalized if you want to survive. It's cheaper to pay for a doctor's visit than for a funeral. For some reason, the less fortunate think that if they just ignore the issue, it'll go away. And that is not working well for anyone. Number two, lucky charms or spiritual items. Isn't it ironic how people without money spend the little money they do have on lucky charms or stones that are supposed to bring more wealth into their lives? You know what would make you 49 bucks richer? Not spending 49 bucks on rocks. And no, we don't care that you call them crystals or minerals. This is not a Breaking Bad episode. Don't even get us started on spiritual items. Even mentioning refraining from purchases of a crucifix in Latin America or Eastern Europe will get you labeled as heretic in the eyes of the less fortunate. But it's actually the poor people these organizations prey on to get their hands on the little they do have. Number three, games and in-app purchases. I'll let the numbers do the talking here. 70% of Fortnite players spend money in the game, and the average amount these people spend for digital items in Fortnite alone is $84. Candy Crush was making $3 million a day from people buying extra lives or whatever they use to purchase in the game. The biggest value on this trivial form of entertainment is not the amount people are spending, despite the numbers being colossal, but in the vast amount of time that is wasted. It is super easy to look at your stream numbers and see the hours you put into a single game. If you consider yourself a gamer, it's easy to reach 1,000 hours of gameplay in a year. Some might say those are rookie numbers, but the average wage of the gamer is over $20 per hour. That is easily $20,000 you're leaving on the table without factoring in the cost of purchasing the game, the console, or system, and the remaining in-game purchases. Number 4. Miracle Diets, Weird Fitness Products, and Tele Shopping if it took you 20 years to get fat, do you really think you can safely drop 50% of your weight in three weeks? With some miracle tea you saw some hot 20 year old promoting on Instagram or on your TV, the super ripped people you see in those videos are personal trainers, whose job it is to work out 14 hours a day every day. That's what they do for a living. You don't need a roll up piano, the shake weight or the pajama jeans. How many times do you need to get duped by lame products designed to prey on people looking for a quick and easy? The only way to get into shape is to take ownership of the fact that you're out of shape and need to do something about it. You're going to stop eating so damn much and you can't kind of go for a walk once in a while. That's all there is to it. And you don't have to spend a penny. You don't need a product. You need to work on your mindset. Number five, the latest tech. It's weird to look at people you know who aren't doing that well financially spend ridiculous amounts of money on buying the latest tech every damn year. You cannot afford the new iPhone. You may have the money to pay for it, but you can't afford it. There is a difference. In the same fashion, you don't need a large flat screen TV when your household obviously needs maintenance. It also boils down to the life cycle of a product. People who take care of their belongings enjoy using them for longer periods of time, thus saving themselves money in the form of maintenance costs or upfront costs of replacing it. Number six, credit cards. Credit cards are the last thing poor people and honestly anyone in general really should be touching. It's like digging yourself deeper and deeper into a hole you'll never be able to escape. Credit cards are used to trade temporary finance for someone's time and livelihood. The moment you go into debt, you're no longer working for yourself. Your life is no longer truly yours until that debt is repaid. Poor people max out their credit cards like it's a monthly hobby and usually on non-essential things. It's easy to get caught up in this financial whirlwind that you'll never be able to escape. Number seven, food waste. You probably have no idea how much food you're throwing away. People buy what they think they will consume and nine out of 10 times they're wrong. The average person throws away 40% of vegetables they purchase, 17% of their dairy products and 14% of their meat. The average American household is wasting approximately $20,000 per year on food they throw away. The food waste ratios seem to be about the same no matter if you're poor or middle class. It's just that it's hurting the poor a lot more. Number eight, Glam and beautification. Have you seen the nails and the haircuts on people who can't afford to even get their cars fixed? This is one of the most annoying things that we see that keeps people from becoming better. You've worked your butt off for the entire week and then reward yourself with a new hairstyle that's going to fade away in two weeks just to impress people who are not doing any better than yourself. Ever notice how almost all rich people have the same simple haircut? Have you noticed how none of the successful women entrepreneurs have diamonds or add-ons to their nails? It's an issue of prioritization. Fix your life and then you'll be able to do whatever you want with excess capital. Instead of throwing your money out your window, start fixing them. 
Number nine, impulse purchases. No, you don't need six phone cases, the funky socks, kitchen appliances you only use once, and the list goes on forever. You are well aware of what the essentials in your life are, the things you actually need. Everything else is just marketed to you. They are brainwashing you into thinking you need said product, despite you only wanting it. The moment you learn the difference between need and want, you'll begin to take control of your life. A study done in the UK showed that the average Brit will spend over 150,000 pounds on impulse purchases in his or her lifetime. And the average American spends north of $5,000 every year. That's a lot of money you could use to make your life better. Well, there you have it, guys. That was nine things poor people waste their money on. If you did enjoy this video, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.